Hey, welcome back everyone. It is time for another Red Hot Covered Call video. Hey look, today I'm gonna show you a trade. We're gonna talk about it and maybe you learn something. I'm gonna show you how I took a stock, one stock in 30 days and I knocked down $642 if my shares are taken away. I'm gonna explain that. That's a 6.9% 30 day gain, cash on cash, and this is what we do. I call this my cash printing machine. And if you haven't been to my channel, you'll wanna subscribe to my channel because I talk about time and relevant and exciting topics like writing covered calls and selling cash secure puts so we can generate that guaranteed weekly and monthly income. Look, if you've been a part of my channel, you know over the past three years I've shown you my trades. We've talked about them and I know you've learned something. You know, recently I've been getting thousands of views on my videos and it absolutely blows my mind. But what I have noticed that you may not have noticed is I get comments now where people don't believe that I'm doing this without an agenda. They absolutely think I'm a con man and I'm a fake guru. And this is something that absolutely blows my mind. If you've been watching my channel and you have been with me from the jump, you know one thing. I have never asked you for a nickel. I've showed you my trades. We talk about them so maybe you learn something. Look, if you're new to my channel, the thing you need to understand is this. I have a mentor. My mentor is Jerry. I talk about him all the time because if it weren't for Jerry, I would be just like most of you trying to swing trade and day trade to some success and quite frankly over the years no success but then he talked to me about writing covered calls and selling cash secure puts and I have strung together year after year of positive gains to the point now where I pretty much only want to use this strategy I really want you to go to my website c2pdashboard.com and watch the video meet Jerry see I understand in this world of fake gurus and selling secrets sauces and three trade pattern gurus out there, you have a guy like me that is going to share his skill and knowledge to help you possibly better your situation. Look, what I tell you all the time is this, we need to get our financial education, we need to open that small ball account so we can get the experience. And once we get that experience, you do one trade, two trade, three trades, and all of a sudden you feel it, you own it, and I'm telling you, you will start to have the success. See, that's what I want. I want to pay what I have forward, right? I don't predict. I don't make recommendations. I don't sell no secret sauce. What I do is tell you my story. We talk about it. And maybe you learn something. And I'll tell you what, it absolutely jacks me up when I do hear your success story. Now look, before I get going, I love all the interaction I'm getting on Facebook. So I want you to go to Facebook and join the Facebook page. It truly is the place where we can have an off YouTube discussion. Go to Facebook, search the CTP dashboard and like that page. If you like what you're hearing today, I want you to subscribe to the channel. It's right there and it's free and hey look if you like this video today I want you to bang that like button it lets me know you like what I'm doing and what we're doing is this I'm showing you some of my trades and I'm gonna show you the one trade where I'm knocking down $642 we're gonna talk about it but before we get there you know a lot of folks have been asking John you do these high volatility trades with cash cure puts I'm just not there right I don't want to mess with leveraged ETFs or these stocks that are a little more risky you know can you talk about that traditional 38 trade now last week I did that with my trade of UPS. And I talked to you about how that trade plays out over 30 days. That's one of your more traditional 30 day cover call trades. The one thing that I did not talk about in that video, I love trying to collect a dividend while I own the stock. So in the case of last week's video where we would have bought UPS, wrote the covered call, let me just add something to that. I would have loved to have purchased it weeks before a dividend distribution and then write a covered call through the dividend so I collect it, then have have my shares taken away. I talk about that all the time. You can go to my channel and search dividend capture. It is one of my favorite things to do. Buy one of those great stocks that pays a big dividend and hold the stock through the X date and hopefully have my shares taken away a week later. A lot of times we write that 30 day covered call and expiration happens right near the X date and we might have our shares taken away on X date. So what I like to do is play the game, right? You know I love playing the game. Now look, let's talk about this. Uh, as you can see, See, right now I have a Chevron 30-day covered call. It
it expires this Friday. Look, I own Chevron all the way back at 113, and I have been writing covered calls and uh, quite frankly, buying those options back as it's been going higher, never having my shares taken away. That is the game I love to play. Now, my recent covered call, my shares are probably gonna be taken away. I wrote that 123 out of the money strike, and I'll tell you, for 30 days, I was gonna pocket about 2.5%. I know we always want that three to 4%, but in this case, I'd made so much money on Chevron, and I'm really looking to maybe buy another stock, maybe an Amgen, or maybe even UPS, I don't know. But at this point, I've owned Chevron so long, I'm okay with it if my shares were to be taken away at 123. Well, to be honest, I didn't think they'd be taken away. I didn't think Chevron would get to 123. Well, now it's at about 126, and with next Friday being expiration, my shares will be taken away. I won't buy this option back, and I will collect 123 for my shares, and I'll tell you, that is a heck of a trade. From 113, I've probably written four or five covered calls, plus getting 123, plus getting the $1 for this covered call. I'll tell you what, this is a profitable trade. But I know you want to hear how I'm making $642 one stock one month. Well, here's the deal. See that UDAO trade right there? Well, you know recently I have been playing UDAO. UDAO is a 3x leverage ETF to the Dow. So what that means is if the Dow moves 1%, an ETF like UDAO will move 3%. And if the Dow falls 1%, UDAO will fall 3%. It's just the way the game is played. It's a 3x leverage ETF. Now, I know a lot of you won't play 3x leveraged ETFs. And that's why I wanted to show you that Chevron trade because I do the 30 day traditional covered call, but I want that volatility. I want those higher premiums. So I'm going to use the Dow and that traditional directional trade. See, I think the Dow goes higher. I'm going to play that. I'm going to buy you Dow. I'm then going to write the out of the money covered call and then collect that big premium for 30 days. So in the case of this Dow trade, as you can see, the setup is I wrote the one month covered call. I wrote a 95. I got a 95 strike on this and I got $4 for it. This is going to turn out to be a 6.9% gain, cash on cash, 30 days, $642 in my wallet if my shares are taken away. Now, this is on $9,200 invested. So a lot of you might have $9,200 to invest. Uh, before we move on, I will say, again, know your stocks. Know the stocks you're buying. This is a 3X leverage ETF. And quite frankly, it is volatile. And I'll tell you, it can move 3 and $4 either way. But look, this is about me showing you my trades, talking about them, so maybe you learn something. So whether you like the volatile trades or the non, uh, non-volatile trades, we're just going to talk about this trade and uh, you could see my world through my eyes. So let's go ahead and get to this trade and see if you learn something. So I told you that I wrote this cover call when the stock was trading at 92X. My real cost basis on this is 93X, meaning I bought the stock at 93X. The stock had fallen and in fact, Dow did get under 90. It got to 88. Luckily, the Dow rallied a little bit and here we are sitting at 92X. I'm thinking to myself, okay, this is one of those great situations where I'm gonna write that 30-day covered call. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get six to 7% and I was able to do that. The, the reason I was able to do that is because I got lucky and was able to have a couple green days. So the momentum was to the buy side. And usually when we get that green momentum to the buy side, we're gonna get higher priced call options, right? When the stock is tanking, you know, call options are not that popular. So we're not gonna be able to get any good call option premium. But in this case, I was able to get a couple days of it rallying. So I was able to get a nice premium for what I was looking to do. And sure enough, as it bottoms off of that 88 number and we start to get a couple green days, this is where I'm going to write that covered call. You now understand, I have a mindset where if my shares are taken away, that means I make money. I'm going to make that trade where I make a green trade. We've talked about this all the time. Some of you, you have to get over the mindset of having your shares taken away. When I did this video a month ago where I bought 400 shares of UDAO, I wrote four covered call contracts and all of my shares were taken away. Some of you guys were hitting my inbox saying, look, you had your shares taken away. How do you feel about that? And I'm thinking that was a great opportunity to make some great profits. And I did. Look, I have no hangups with having my shares taken away. And in that case, all 400 shares were taken away. 
Now, same deal for this month. I bought about 300 shares of UDAO, and here we are again. I'm gonna let my shares be taken away as long as I'm making the profits. And in this case, I have a couple trades out there where I'm gonna make 6.9% cash on cash if my shares are taken away. Man, that's what I'm looking for. That's what we're looking for. We're looking to make that cash on cash gain. Because look, if I can do this every single month, man, we're killing the mark. Now, let's get back to this trade. So as you can see, when UDAO is trading at 92X, you already know what my cost basis is, 93X. So I'm looking to write that out of the money covered call. Well, I was able to pick up $4 at the 95 strike. So when you do the math from 92X to 95 plus the $4 premium, man, that's $642 on this trade, this 30 day trade, man, that's 642 crumbs. And you know, if I pick up one crumb, two crumb, three crumbs, we're talking real money. At the end of the day, if my shares are taken away at 95, this is a profitable trade. And, and I don't know if you noticed, but did you see my other UDAO trade? In a very similar situation, I bought 200 shares of UDAO. I got a cost basis of about 94X. I wrote a 30 day 98 covered call and got $2.75 for it. And if my shares are taken away, I'm going to make 6.8%. That's a $1,200 crumb in 30 days. Now, I'm going to talk about this trade in my next video because what I did here was I wrote a covered call. The stock fell. I bought that option back. So those shares were uncovered. And when we got that momentum back in the stock, I was able to then write another covered call. That's almost like a twofer in 30 days. So I was able to make two premiums while holding the same stock in the same 30 day period. But the one thing I want to talk about in that video is how I put in a limit order for that 275 premium. See, the bid and the ask were some 40 cents wide, meaning had I just done a market order, I may have gotten $2.30 for that covered call. Instead, I put in that nice limit order for 275 and ended up getting it. We're going to talk about that, how we use limit orders to get the price we want. And I'm going to show you how I did the double there, where I wrote the covered call, the stock fell, I bought it back. Then I wrote the next covered call, the current covered call you see right there. Look, we look to do this time and time again, multiple stocks, multiple times during the month, if the opportunity presents itself. Look, I don't sit on my hands and I'll tell you what, I try to make this exciting. And as you can see, using stocks like Udow gives me that excitement. That green bar is the ETF that follows the Dow. Some of you ask me, hey, what ETFs can I buy that mirror the S&P 500 or the Dow? Well, in this case, the DIA Spider. You want to Google spiders and you'll see there's about seven or eight spiders that mirror all of these indexes. A lot of people use SPY for the S&P 500 and they'll use DIA for the Dow. So look, before we end this video, I want to remind you what's coming up. One of the questions I get all the time, can I trade covered calls using margin? Now, we've never talked about margin and typically you never see videos on covered calls and margin. And there's a reason for that. Doesn't mean you can't, but most people don't. And, and I'm going to explain that. So I want you to come back. Before I let you go, I want you to bang that like button if you like what you heard today. And hey, look, share this video because we got a lot coming. And I know, I know if you're talking to your friends about the stock market, they'd be interested in what we're doing here. And until next time, I hope all your covered calls are profitable.